me. Okay, let's, let's hit it then, huh? Let's test the cameras. There we go. Nice and responsive. Hi, this is the part of the show when I when I say hi to to all the rerun watchers because when it first goes on, the viewers aren't here yet, Ryan. So we know that if any if you're seeing this, you're an esteemed rerun watcher, and that's that's a lounge kid on on the highest order because it, it means you went out of your way to see it. All the, Holy cow, who, guess who the first person popping up? Somebody you know. Zach. Zach? Yeah, Zach's out there. Oh, hi, Zach. Why what? are you watching this? Ryan says hi. Maybe he's coming down. Maybe he's thinking like, gee, maybe they're having fun. I should be there. <laughs> and this is, this is for those of you watching in rerun, Zach knows what this is, but those of you watching in rerun, you're watching Lounge Academy. My name's Howard. I'm your host and one of my co-hosts, Ryan, who happens to be the president of WBIG TV. That as, it, as it just so happens. And uh, this is the time of the show when I fart around, excuse the language, but it's exactly, there's really no better fitted word in the English language, or in any language probably, um, to describe the, to describe what I'm about to do, which is I'm, I'm, I'm about to fight with my tablet so I can see your comments. I wonder if Zach is still on. He just texted me. He said, I was just spying on you. I'm enjoying some squid and clams. Handsome Dan is walking up to the door. Ryan, you might have to let him in. We can make Mike do it. See, I told you I'd have to screw around with this stupid thing. I'll let you guys watch the split screen while I'm getting the show prep done. See, I can't do this before the show. It only works. You know my friend Melinda? I don't know if you met. I think we did. Yes. Yeah, that's right, because you were the editor when I did this. Right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then we put him on the cover of Buffalo. Yeah. Did you know Hi, Kate. The editor? Melinda was the editor. Comments. Buffalo nice. Magazine. That's very clever, Kate. <laughs> we're going to put you on the writing team here. I'm still trying to get, for some reason, the hardest part about doing this multi-cam, live, music, reality telecast is me being able to see it on my tablets so I could see people's comments. I, of course, it is the world's cheapest tablet. Sometimes I have to reboot it. It really makes it really agonizing, long process. <laughs> Some of these mysteries of nature and mysteries of internet technology will, will never be solved by man. And, 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 they, and they sh maybe they should not be the wonders of the world, maybe the beasts. So I could just experiment, try, try different things here, haphazardly. One week, I think it was three weeks ago, it just came up beautifully. I was astounded. Here we go. We got it. Kate Fitzgerald's being compliant. See, I know that because I got my tablet working and I can see what she's saying now. Now I can read her mind. Well, I think she said uh, compliant. 
She's not a complainer, that Kate Fitzgerald. She's a doer. She doesn't like something in the world. She, she changes it. All the way from Arizona. She's going to be uh, a Buffalonian someday. I know that. I just know it that Kate Fitzgerald's going to going to move to Buffalo. She'll be right here on Lounge Academy every week, sitting there with handsome Dan. How are you, sir? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Wait, you look good. Did you lose a little weight? Two I thought so. Yeah, be careful with those. Could get out of hand, especially if you're loading, you know, strange women in your Uber car. That's how you get tips. That's handsome Dan, ladies and gentlemen. See, Kate knows I'm right. In fact, she's coming very soon. On the pretext that it's a visit, it's really a uh, colonization step. We call this the beginning of the show, right, Ryan? Now, over at the table, I overheard them talking about class reunions. Yes. And because uh, some Mary has a class reunion coming up. Kate Fitzgerald's coming up June 14th. That's pretty soon. You better come and see us, Kate. Don't forget about us. I've never gone to a class reunion. You never went to a class reunion? No. Nope. You're one of those people with attitudes? I didn't know that boy. Yeah, that they recognize him. Well, I'm, I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing. But just like I might go next year. Yeah. Oh, you've got a reunion coming up in, within a year? Yeah, next year will be my 20th. 20th? For a young Ryan. Am I allowed to go if I didn't graduate? If it's on a Friday, you can't go because we need you here. Of course, that goes without saying. Well, who graduated? I graduated. I didn't graduate either. And um, I went in during the summer to uh, sign up for some summer school so I can get the credits that I needed. And the, um, I don't know, the principal and some of the big wigs happened to be there. Mm -hmm. And they said, let's, let's look at your record here. And they said, uh, look, uh, it says you got a couple of textbooks you didn't return yet. Uh, tell you what, bring those, go home and get them and come in and we'll give you your diploma. Wow, did you have them? Yeah, I went home and I got them. And uh, went right back. I remember telling my mom the good news. I don't have to take summer school. They just given me the. First, they, they said. Um, they they said, oh, you don't. They said we'll give you the. I don't know. We'll give you the credits or something. Oh, wow. Or, or we'll give you the grades. And I said, and I said, well, that's not enough because I, I need, I need these, I need these for to get into college. I need the like specific. I need these courses. I don't know because I needed the credits or I needed the specific. I needed something like, and I actually like was grateful. But I told them, I said, that's nice of you, but I actually need that. They just were so anxious to get me out of there and not have me in summer school for some reason. And they said, okay, we'll, we'll put it on your record. So they just gave them to me. School. What a racket. I couldn't believe it. Well, even if I'm not invited to my 20th reunion, I think I should crash it. Well, hang on. You have to be invited to go to your own class reunion since when? I don't know how this works. No, they, they have, they try to maintain, and, and the internet has made it a lot easier. They try to keep track of, they used to try to keep track of where people moved. 
so they'd have your address and, and maybe your phone number and they'd try not to lose track of everybody. Some people would get lost track of. But now what they got, join um, classreunion.com or whatever it's called. So, so wait, you Class. Might, com. I shouldn't be offended that I was never invited before. That's just normal. Now you, should be, you should be offended about everything. As much things as possible. I thought they would try to track me down and send me a formal printed invitation. Yeah, well, um, they should, for sure. Yeah, that's right, Kate. I had a, a, I had a good, like a decent average, like mid-80s, which was good for me because I completely loopholed it. So I had a good enough average to get into some of the, the good local schools like NU and stuff but I was very sparse on actual credits because I played a loophole where I would sign up for like a million courses in high school and then the ones that I would flunk if I took the exam I, w I didn't take the exam because the loophole was they <laughs> they wouldn't flunk you. They give you an they give you an I for incomplete. So like if I if I went through the whole the whole year and I had like a sixty average, I would just not take the final exam, and they would never average that sixty. It was a flaw in their scoring system, and I figured it out. See, everybody's good at different things. You know, like some of the kids were good at. Mem memorizing textbooks and thinking logically and, and, and you know, having good judgment. I didn't have those things, but I could figure out the loophole on how to beat the system. See, I just wouldn't do any work all year long. Me too. And I would flunk out of all the... I mean, you know, I'd get straight F's in a class, but then with the Buffalo schools, I don't know about other schools, you could go take the final exam, and if you passed it, then you passed the class. It didn't matter what you did all your life. What about your, your grade point average? Was well, something went with the final exam, probably? Probably. Yeah. That's nice, yeah. It's not like people wouldn't take me for college. They took me, but they shouldn't have. I'd like to shout out to Bill King. Western New York's pilot. He spends more time in the air than, than we spend in bed or at home or fill in the blank. You haven't seen you on this side of the lens in a while, Bill King. You guys, you guys should stop back someday, I hope. It's nice to see Nancy out there. Nancy's been on this side of the lens, too. She introduced me to my first cat, my first training cat. Some, you know, we got some real luminaries out there. Margaret Phillips, wow. Talk about lounge cadets. She's the queen of cadets. Tony Castelletti, sir. Nice to see you, sir. Hale's out there. Nice to see you. Sir, nice. We don't know what to expect tonight, except that we're having, we know there's going to be two birthdays celebrated tonight. One of them is my co-host, uh, Mary Kunz Goldman. Hi, Mary. Hi, Howard. Hi, Ryan. Hi. Are you joining us? Join us at the piano with Bill King and Nancy Cardillo. Phil Graham's out there. Rick Mead, McDonald. These are these are the true lounge cadets. Even Dave Pettigrew's out there. Where he was. He hooks in. Pokes in long enough to turn it off, I think. He wants, he 
want, he waits until I use one of his jokes, which takes about 10 seconds, and then he tunes out. He's been writing my material since, since we were about 15. Beyond that, we really don't know what to expect tonight. As, as usual, we're in the dark. It's one of the longest days of the year. We're in the dark. Yeah, that's true. We've got another three weeks until we're three weeks. in the longest days. I've been noticing it's a lot. It's wonderful. It's yeah, it's cool. It's That was an exciting Buffalo Marathon we had here this week. Last Sunday, took off right from uh, right from where I'm looking out the window there, right under the Buffalo Blimp. Hi, Bill King. Cedar Point, Ohio. Nice. Isn't that like Wally World is there or something like an amusement park? Or are you there for something like a? Uh, Fuel injection yes, please. convention or something. Bill King is in Cedar Point. You know, he took his plane to Cedar Point. Did a pre flight. And then he flew all night. So he wouldn't get iced up. Maxine Lamar is out there. I don't believe you, Bill King. I don't believe you're on a coaster right now watching Lounge Academy. Although, if, if anyone was, was going to do that, it would probably be you. He loves danger and excitement. That's what I like about Maxine Lamar. Hi, Maxine. Wonderful to see you here in the lounge. I'll try out some of these high keys, see if they're working. That's the highest one right there. We didn't check my part. Oh, because I'm wearing my hat. So you get the grand crackers and then you write it. Probably. Yeah, the Buffalo Marathon was right out the window there. It was really exciting. We televised it for everybody. Sponsor Buffalo for helping make tonight possible. On a con, it's the only money I make. You could call that a sponsor, right? I'd call that a sponsor. Is the, the gain is usually when I'm watching the rerun. You know, because it was cheap. Apple I'm going to try turning that up a little. 
you guys could tell me how the audio is. I just, I just nudged. I think you can have anything you want. Let me know if it's uh, getting distorted. It's peaking a little bit. I probably shouldn't play with it. playing for show business people because they understand the pain of the creative process. Shout out to Bruce Sanders. Well, thanks, Bill. Can't get a better engineer than Bill. Sorry about that. We, as you can tell, we did make some progress. We did get the donut booth um, in place. And all our licenses are current and everything. The paperwork's all... Just we've been really busy watching that new uh, division of the Department of Coffee and Donuts. Uh, Buffaloob.com. You know, our first month. So it's like having a baby in the house. Nice to see Patrick Coster out there. Great musician and performer. He's also a great journalist. <laughs> Why? I like starting with this song. Why? Why should I die? Take a chance when romance passes by. Oh no, how It is scary. Why should I die? No one will. Why shouldn't I? Why wait around? Ready change as a saint who has found that upon this earth love is all that is really worth thinking of. It must be fun who's here. Lots of fun. Talk about show business. To be sure when day is done that the hour is it's coming when you'll be kissed and then you'll be kissed again. All debutantes. This goes out to Electra. Say it's good. And every star out in far Hollywood seemed to give it a try. So why, why shouldn't I? Why shouldn't I? having you here? Royalty in the house? That was for Electra. Jack Horaho. He's got an orange cat. Or he wants one. Everyone either has one or wants one. 
as you see us, sir. It's wonderful having you here, Karen. Wow, that's beautiful. Let me see that. Let's see. Wow, look at this. Look at this beautiful birthday card that was just just presented to Mary by a Buffalo show business couple, McNeil and Lundy. Look at that. It has like, it's like a parade in there. It's a really nice dress. It really fits you beautifully. It doesn't say anything too personal. He's got like a few minutes off. Yeah. 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 That's a really good lounge birthday card. Yeah, McNeil and Wendy are here. As you all know, McNeil's a huge jazz singer. Dave Wendy is a huge, huge actor. Surprised. He's probably on his way to a, an opening or a closing or a, a run. Lots of times, big show business people like Dave Wendy and McNeil, they just stop here on their way to something else or sometimes they hang out or we spouse sit one of them. Tonight we're free. We're free tonight. They're, you're both free tonight? Yeah. Wow, this is great. Mc, McNeil and Wendy are both free tonight. Neither one of them has a show business engagement. And how wonderful that when they have a night off together, they find the most romantic place yes, we did. for them to come is to Lounge Academy in front of all of you. And that's what they did. It is. And it can only be truly romantic if, if it's being live streamed. So it's, yeah, so it, can, so it can be remembered. Well, this is great. Karen Clyer says happy birthday to Mary. Mary's in the back of the house right now. Hi. Mary, what are you doing back there? Dan, Dan, come up here so Mary will follow you. I'm also the director of the show, as you can tell. Karen Clyer says happy birthday. Says thank you back, Karen. Here's your card. I saw that you had it up there. I love this card. Are the stars? The stars are out tonight at Lounge Academy, ladies and gentlemen. Look at how the glitter goes this way and that way, depending on what you're doing. The stars come out at Lounge Academy two hours before the sun sets. Show favorites, Melinda and Mike are here. They're always great for ratings. Are the stars out tonight? I don't know if it's cloudy or bright. Well, talk about people. Paul Cote is walking toward Lounge Academy. Oh, is he? He's outside? Yeah. He's the Janice Oaken of lounge music. So he's inspiring to play when Paul's in the house. He's, he's been, uh, he sat in the right seat of many, co-piloted many piano bars, including the great Jackie Jocko. It's great having him in the right seat here, piano side. 
Dakota, ladies and gentlemen. Nice to see you, sir. Presenting Paul Kokoda. It's pure glamour here tonight. Paul knew Electra very well. The two of them were really the two, the two sidemen of Jackie Jago was Electra and Paul Kokoda. And how great we have Karen and we have Paul Kokoda. Paul knows where everything is here at my campus. Nice to see you, Paul Kokoda. Somebody was sitting there, but when you walk in, they get up. Yeah. At E.B. Greens, if anybody was sitting in the seat next to them, next to Jocko, they knew as soon as Paul walked in. And this was not Paul's doing. But you would automatically, I know I was in that seat many times, and you you feel like a jack in the box. As soon as you see Paul, Paul's face walk in, your, your ass is immediately off that seat, heading to the next best thing you can find. Jimmy McHugh. Oh, yes. Jimmy McHugh? I wonder, I'm going to look him up in the lyrics. He's got Nobody realized he, he belongs with the, the top half life. Well, I know, I know his name. I can't, I, I can't tell you a song, though. I can. I can. Yeah, I know I can well. Start with, I can't give you anything but love, baby. I can't give you anything but love. Lounge Academy. That's the only thing I've plenty of. My baby. Dream a while, scheme a while. We're sure to find happiness. And I'll guess all those things you've always oh, yeah. done for the yeah. 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 I'd like to yeah. see you looking so swell yeah. my baby diamond bracelets Woolworth they don't sell them my baby till that lucky day you know darn well well baby Anything but 
Request. Actually, I knew a request. Thank you for starting out that. I've heard that. Round of applause. McNeil. McNeil's over at the VIP table where she belongs. There's a shot of the VIP table. You can see Mike Miller on the left. And he's, he's chatting it up with McNeil right now about something to do with show business, I'm sure. Looking on to the conversation and quite entranced by all of WBIG TV president Ryan Weiser. It's him in the powder blue suit on, on your right. Standing up is David Lundy having a conversation with one of his biggest fans, Melinda Miller. Well known journalist. She's, I think she's uh, covered some of his plays for the newspaper. So this is where the critic and the critic and the actor meet here right at Lounge Academy. And I was gonna say work out their differences, but I don't think they have any. She she loves day one. She carries on about him when he's not here. Look at her. It's like she's talking to the Beatles. Never seen her. Yeah, that's Look like that before. She is a fan. Usually people are in awe of Melinda Miller, you know, because of her celebrity status. But you see, everybody is somebody else's fan. I can't give you anything but love here at Lounge Academy. Broadcasting from Niagara Square in downtown Buffalo. Part of the Lounge District. Every Friday night. It's nice to see Dennis out there joining us in the lounge, the virtual lounge. Relax, sir. This is a lovely way to spend an evening with Jimmy McHugh. Do you know that? Not off the top of my head. You're going to impress me if you get, if you get that one. How's that one going, Mary? This is a lovely way to spend an evening. Oh, I do not know that one. I'll bet I've heard it. Did John go do it? I don't know. He knew everything. Oh, yeah, he did that. He really did. Well, he knew everything, but he didn't do everything. Unless he asked him. Yeah, I'm proud of him, you know, but he liked that one. You know, he liked a lot of things, but he liked good stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you, John. What a man. That is not a good one. There's so many great songs. Here's a nice song. While we're in the key of G.
going ever your way. Can't sleep nights and suffer all the day. I was doing all right, but I'm doing better, better than ever now. How you doing, Dale? How are you? Yeah. Yeah. Life was as sweet as apple pie. Never noticed the rain till you, till you came by. That's what happens, right? Now, whenever you're away, can't sleep nights. For all the day, I just sit and wonder if life is one big wonder. When you're holding you tight, tingling all through, I feel somehow I was doing all right. Gershwin tune from 1937 from the Goldwyn Follies. That was a few years ago. Jackie Jack from time. How will we know how much to discover? The chemical forces flow from lover to lover. How little we understand what touches off that tingle. Sudden explosion when tingles in the mingle. Who cares to define what chemistry this is? Who cares with your lips on mine? What ignorant bliss is? So long as you kiss me and the world around us shatters, how little it matters. How little we know. How little we know, 
show business room here tonight, that's for sure. Here's a passionate song. I'm a fool to want you. I'm a fool to want you. You want the love that's passing through it. A love that bears for others too. But I'm a fool to hold you. Such a fool to hold you. To seek and kiss that final alone. To share a kiss the devil has known. Time and time again, I said I'd leave you. Time and time again, I went away. But then would come a time when I would need you. to say I'm a fool to want you pity me I need you I know it's wrong it must be wrong but right or wrong I can't get along without you Maybe it would be more convincing without the paper hat. Well, thank you, Paul. Wow, I'll never get over that compliment coming from the Janice Oaken of lounge music. You know, I gotta tell you, I don't fake it. think I learned it? I don't fake it. Well, you know, I, I, I attended your class for years. Good students. Well, thank you. I'm gonna laugh you right out of my life. Great psych home and song. Laugh and forget this affair. Guess I was foolish to care. So I'm gonna dance you right out of my dream. Try to be carefree. Cause when our friends begin that I fell through my Shirley Mayer. <laughs> Haven't we all felt that way, Shirley? At least 10 times today? I'm going to laugh you right out of my life. There's another one for Shirley Mayer. Let's see if we know the verse. How many millions Many, many millions of Annabelle's and millions would be to capture me. You had such persistence 
You broke yeah, down my resistance. I remember that was the big bad And it was swell. You're my big and brave and handsome Romeo. How I wonder I shall never, never know. This is his part now again. It's not that you're attractive, but oh, my heart grew active when you came into view. I've got a crush on you, sweetie pie, all day and all night time. I never had the least bit notion that I would fall with so much emotion. Could you cool? On a car, I've got a crush, my baby, on you. Monday's in the house. It's got kind of her first night off in five years. It's talking kind of to his biggest fan. Melinda Miller, she's a big fan of Dave Monday. I've got a crush, my baby. My baby, I've got a big fat crush on you. It's nice to see Richard Craney out there in Coloradoville. How are you, sir? You got the AMC? Uh, you got the AMC products on the road? Those are great lyrics, Janice. They don't write them like that anymore, right? Not even close. And that's if you can understand them. If you're lucky enough to understand the new lyrics, you wish you didn't hear them. But these were the great songs. Janice knows that. Friday night with you and me. Richard Craney says happy birthday to Mary Coons Golden from Colorado. Richard Craney. Mary says thank you, Richard. I've got you. Under my skin, I've got you deep in my heart of me, deep in my heart. 
You're really a part of me. I've got you at Lounge Academy. I've tried so not to give in. I said to myself, self, this affair never will go so well. Why should I try to resist when, darling, I know so well? I've got you. Anything come what may for the sake of having you near, in spite of the warning voice comes in the night and repeats and repeats in my ear. Don't you know, little fool, you never can win. Use your mentality, wake up to reality. But each time I do. Just the thought of you and makes me stop before I begin. I've got you. Baby, I've got you. I've got you at Lounge Academy. Amazing. Of course, Cole Porter knew how to put them together. He didn't even need a writer. He didn't even need a wear assist. He could write it all. Yeah, he did both. <laughs> and in either phase, he was at the top of the game. Yeah. I mean, he might have been the best lyricist and the best songwriter. Arguably. Very arguably. I'm not going to argue against that one. <laughs> What's this song from? This is a uh, Dietz and Schwartz to Rich Sellers. Nice, nice to see you, sir. <laughs> it must be from a Paul, show. Paul. How you doing? Sorry. No problem. Is there someone lovelier than you? Is there someone lovelier than you? By all that's beautiful, that beauty can't be true. Dietz and Schwartz. That's a nice, that's a nice one. I guess I'll have to change my pants. <laughs> I, I heard it a different way. <laughs> Are you familiar? 
familiar with that verse? Let's try it out. I beheld her and was conquered from the start and placed her on a pedestal apart. I planned to know with the right away that we could share someday. When I met her, I unfolded all my dream and told her how she fit into my scheme of what a bliss is. Then the blow came when she gave me name as Mrs. When she gave her name as Mrs. Oh, okay. So that's a setup for the song. She turned out she was married. Those verses are on our form, weren't they? Yeah. So the words really set this one up. I never heard it. Heard those. No, no, no. They all do. Hi, Bill Zimmerman. Nice to see you. And Barbara Howard. Wonderful having you in the lounge tonight. Stay close till 11 p.m. tonight. Keep us lounging with you in the background. I guess I'll have to change my plans. I should have realized there'd be another man. I overlooked that point completely until the big affair began. Before I knew where I was at, selfing on my shelf, and that was that. I tried to reach the moon, but when I got there, all that I could get was the air. My feet are back upon the ground. I've got the one girl, the one girl I found. Actually, I lost the one girl I found. Might as well be optimistic and green there. It's a great song. myself up on the shelf and that was that. I tried to reach the moon, but when I got there, all that I could get was the air. My feet were back upon the ground. I lost the one girl, the one girl. by Paul Kokoda. Thank you, Rich. I think Missy's on the way with Jack. Another birthday girl. It's Kathy, and she brought Nick. Now the party can start real quick. Look at Nick work in the room, man. He's the mayor of Loungeville. play video. I don't believe you. We're getting a little bit of connectivity problem there. Who's it? 
connection with the lounge cadets here. Somebody's very gently tapping on the door. They must be Jack and Missy. Only dogs could hear them. Thank you for the applause, Janice.
too. I saw your lips next to mine, so I kissed them. You didn't seem to mind it at all. When I'm awake, such a break, it never happens. How long can a guy go on dreaming? If there's a chance that you care, then please say you do, my baby. Say it and make mine. Make my crazy dreams come true. Say it and make my my crazy dreams all true. Harry Warren and Matt Gordon. Helen Forrest had a big hit of that. Amazing that you can play a piano after a week in the hall. My son and I saw it. Yeah, I missed a lot of practicing, you know. Yeah, me too. You too? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, moving is a pain. Biggest pain there is. This is called screwing around. You made the point looking at walls and trying to find something. Some walls are going to be empty for a while. Don't worry. That's all right. It's good to leave a little blank canvas, right, Missy? I got birthday cake coming out. We got birthday cake. Howard, we're going to light the candles on the cakes and do it now while people are here. Okay. That's a great idea. I'm screwing around with this uh, tablet so I can communicate with the lounge cadets at home or wherever they are. Here we go. We got it now. I see candles being lit, ladies and gentlemen. I think it's just out of camera view. Oh wait, there it is. You can see on the on the right side of your screen, there's candles being lit because we've got a dual birthday tonight. We've got uh, Missy and Mary. It sounds like some kind of an act. Here we go, everybody. Help us out with this. Happy birthday. Come on, everybody. It's Mary and Missy's birthday. Oh, yeah, we made cakes for each other. Yeah. Look at that. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to us. Happy birthday to us. Yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on. Places, everybody. Quiet on the set. Go ahead, Dave. Hit it. Happy birthday. Come on, everybody, to Mary and Missy. Yes. Happy birthdays to Mary and Missy. Yes. Happy birthday to Eminem. Happy birthday. It's their birthday at Lounge Academy. There's no better place to have a birthday than with the 
lounge cadets, including Jack. Look how nice Jack looks tonight. He's not just like faking it anymore. Yeah. A real life. He's actually like, you know, David. That's like a real suit. Just pal David. Nice. Uh, he, Very he, impressive. He's back in his room. Yeah, you wear that great. I mean, a lot of people they look like the suits wearing them if they're not used to wearing one like all the time. And look, look, look at that. He's like, and he does he's, not wear one. He's at time. home. Oh. Yeah, I guess you're supposed to be. It's like pajamas. Maybe I should become something. Well, you know, you never know. I would do that. I've done that. How come my Facebook didn't say Mary her birthday's tomorrow. Yeah. I have the feeling I've been here before. I know the truth's been twice as clear before. <laughs> now I know it pretty well. Those telltale things you try to let go by. Familiar signs. I know the smile. I know the book. What's more, I even read between the lines. I've seen the summer turn to fall before. Roger Kellaway. I don't know. But that is, is, that is a consummate song, though. You can tell as soon as you heard it. I mean, it's just a, Have you ever heard it before? No, I didn't, but I've heard so many similar of this. You can tell it's, it's written by pros. You heard that, ladies and gentlemen. We played a song for Paul Kokoda he's never heard before. Mike Wong, write that down, write down the date and time. I didn't, I didn't admit to that, Howard. I said, I don't think... <laughs> I love Paris in the springtime. I love Paris in the fall. I love Paris in the winter when it drizzles. I love Paris in the summer when it sizzles. I love Paris every moment. Every 
moment of the year. I love Paris. Why, oh, why I love Paris. An account of my love is near. That's a good song for a bouncy seat. But do you know, uh, bouncy seat Howard, 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 do you know that followed the last time I saw Paris? Do you know that one? I'm familiar with it if I had it in front that of me. That was uh, right. Jerome Kern. That helps. Gentlemen talking about show business and movies. Here's a guy that here's a guy that makes the movies. Stevens here, ladies and gentlemen. Stephen Graham, the man behind the camera of the motion pictures. Really? Yeah, that's his gig. Makes movies. Whoever hires him. says hi to Steve and the rest of the lounge cadets. Ellen McCausland is in, is in the lounge tonight. He's at home holding his, holding his cocktail. Even if he didn't know, that's the champion guest. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Anything with that sultry. I may be wrong, but I think you're wonderful. I may be wrong, but I think you're swell. I like your style, say. I think you're marvelous. 
I'm always wrong, so how can I tell? All my shirts are unsightly. All of my ties are a crime. If dear in you, I've picked rightly. It's the very first time. You came along to say, I think you're wonderful. I think you're grand, but I may be wrong. dedicated to the memory of, of Doris Day. How the stars, how the stars out tonight. That might be a Harry Warren song. I don't know if it's cloudy or bright.
Thanks, Nick. Thanks, my wife. I only have a piece for you. Good one, Janice. Janice has some good bar jokes. She must uh, have learned those somewhere. Paid her dues. Presenting Bob Davis, Robert Merwin Davis, ladies and gentlemen. He's a jazz pianist, he's a jazz magician, he's a puppet master. song all the married guys can identify with this one when they're waiting to get out the door. If it takes forever, I will wait for you through a thousand summers. I will wait for you till your bed inside me till you're holding Taking away our one by one. Ah! 
what's wrong? I must be wrong. What right or wrong? I can't get along without you. Hi to Betty, she's in Washington, D.C., lounging along with us. Yeah, nice to have you here, Betty. What happened to Trina? Tina, I don't know. She, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if she's out of town or what. I've, I've been meaning to, I've been meaning to shout out, give her. I see her on Facebook, you know, I know she's. I know she's alive and kicking and been keeping track of things. Mike Beato's out there, ladies and gentlemen. He's sponsored by Buffalo and he runs all kinds of marathons. I saw I saw his picture. It's amazing. How do you run 26 miles? I don't think my car would make it 26 miles. How many million millions? Would be to capture me. But you had such persistence, you broke down my resistance. I fell and it was swell. You're my warping and raven handsome lonely. Now that you're attractive, but oh, my heart grew active when you came into view. Thank you, Betty. Here's a song to Betty. I've got a crush. I've got a crush on you. Sweetie pie. All day. I never had the least bit notion that I could fall with so much emotion. Could you cool? Could you care? For a cunning cottage we could share the world will pardon my mush on a kana. I've got a crush, my baby and you. How about another one in the same key? Well, the classic uh, verse that was. Yeah. Yeah, amazing. The night is like a lovely tune. Beware. My foolish heart, how wide the ever constant move. Take care, my foolish heart. There's a line between love and fascination. Yeah. 
on an evening such as this, your works are much too close to mine. Exactly. It's called, uh, now that you mentioned, thanks for bringing it up, Paul Dakota. It's called buffaloo.com, and our new sponsor, one of our new enterprises. Where are you going to do well, it? Thank you, Rich. I, I have a shop over in North Buffalo. Oh, all right. Yes, yeah, it's a standalone building. Not on Delaware. It's right off of Elmwood at Amherst, 17 Elmhurst Place. You can find the address at uh, buffaloo.com. We specialize in brakes, suspension, steering, and everyone, all the lounge cadets and the donut cadets, they've been keeping me jumping. It's been a, it's been a great month, a great first month. But now, are you, are you pursuing this? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I want to do it really very badly. Yeah. You, you going to work out something in parking? <laughs> no. Street the park, the parking's there, you know. Street parking? Well, there's, there's paid parking. Oh, all right, paid parking. All right. Yeah, I mean, either way, I mean, if I have to pay for it, all the money comes from the customers, you know, so they're gonna, the parking's going to get paid either way. We're downtown, people figure it out. This could be, this could be the replacement to EV Green. Well, that'd be fun, wouldn't it? It'd be great to get some of those, some of those uh, the old crowd together. They'd love to see each other. I just say hi to Mark. Mark Moscato, thanks for stepping into the lounge and relaxing with us for as long as, as, long as you can stay. 
here at Lounge Academy every Friday night. Podcast from Buffalo, New York, in the heart of the downtown core lounge district and government and financial districts. This one goes out to Nancy. If I don't see her each day, I miss her. She, she what a thrill. Each time I kiss her, believe me, I've got a case. She makes it summer. Summer could take. Could take some lessons from her. Picture a tomboy in lace. With a laughing face. Do you ever hear mission bells? very same glow when she speaks you would swear it was singing hear her say hello I swear to goodness I can't resist her here you go Nick sorry for you she has no sister no one could ever replace That's Nancy with a laughing face
where two hearts become one. Who could ask for anything more? Loving one who loves you, and then taking that vow. Nice work, you can get it, and you can get it. Won't you tell me how? From a damsel in distress. Everyone's digging into their birthday cake here at Lounge Academy. It's often somebody's birthday here. Seems like Lounge Cadets have more birthdays than garden variety people. <laughs> Nice to see Jane Kwiatkowski, Peter Joseph, Melinda Miller is here, Jane, and Mary, of course. She's giving us the thumb. Somebody is. Somebody's is either Peter or Jane. Oh, my soul. 
silver whinings. You're my sky of blue. There's a love light shining just on a cotton you. Inspiration, worthy of almighty nature. it up. We don't, we don't want people walking in. Not yet. That day will come. See, that? See my instincts told me something there. Thank you. 
dancing gaily now. I taste the wine of real romancing now. This crazy world is taken on. A wonderful design as long as life endures. It's yours, this heart of mine. As long as life endures, it's yours. This heart of mine. Shout out to Mark Doc Stisser. Nice to see you, sir. Thank you very much. Sure you are. Man who taught everything I know about hot dogs. On a clear day, rise, look around you, and you'll see who, who the hell you are. On that clear day, how it will astound you that the glow of your being outshines every star you feel part of every mountain seems sure you can hear from far and near a world you've never heard before and on that clear day on that clear day Someone said as we shook hands, she was just Miss Jones to me. Then I said, Miss Jones, 
She's famous for like all these songs. I know, like it's like Sinatra. I really don't know which song. You know, it's because they don't they don't play them in the same. They don't play them to us. Yeah. Like where, when we hear, of course, nobody plays this stuff on the radio anymore. Yeah. Here's something Glenn Miller did. Why? Robin sing in December. Long before the springtime is due. And even though it's snowing, violets are growing. 
I know why, and so do you. Why? Breeze aside every evening. Whispering our name as they do. Stars upon my ceiling, I know why, and so do you. When, when you smile at me, I hear, I hear gypsy violins. The music begins. I can see the sun when it's raining, hiding every cloud from my view. And why do I see rainbows when you're in my arms? I know why. So do you. I know I so do you. Now, which of the two movies is that one from? Great having you with us, Jay Farquharson and George Barrymore. Hope you can relax and stay a while. Jay's tuning in from the Adirondacks because he's in Vaud he's in Vaudeville. So he's out there playing the Adirondacks. Barry's out on his island. Sipping a drink with umbrellas in it. Enjoying Lounge Academy. I'd like to thank McNeil and Norton for taking their one night off a year from show business to kind of decompress here at Lounge Academy. How about another big round of applause for McNeil and Lundy? Look for a show business couple, there we go. Probably off to some other, some rehearsal or something. If you want kids call it that nowadays. They're going home to feed Flopsy. Jenkins is here. It's about time, sir. Glad you're with us. And Carrie Kate, you just missed uh, McNeil Lundy. Nice having you with us, Carrie Kate. She's probably working somewhere too. Big show business. What else can we do here? Your eyes, your eyes don't shine. Like they used to shine. And that thrill is gone when your lips, when your lips touch mine. I'm afraid the masquerade it's over and so is love kind of depressing isn't it and so is love your words don't What they, what they used to mean, they were once inspired, now they're just 
just routine. I'm afraid the masquerade is over. I guess I'll have to play Haleachi and learn the clown's disguise and laugh, laugh like Haleachi with tears in my eyes you look you look the same gee you're a lot the same but my heart says no No, you're not the same. I'm afraid the masquerade is over. And so is love. And so is love. Let's all kill ourselves now. That's the way these songs are. They're, they're, they're bipolar. Right? Because you're either like, yeah, I'm in, or I'm out. That's the way it is. That's why you gotta enjoy it while you enjoy everything. Good, you enjoyed that, Janice. And Janet. And Bill. Here's one for Kathy. Here's one I learned for Kathy. If I looked at you. I'm not as crazy as I seem to be. After all, it's spring. And if I collapse, bits of straw.
song that Guy Valeri introduces to. When he's not around, I have to play for Kathy. That's just the way it works. Thank you. See you around. Not, uh, not since uh, the last time. I remember that. It's been a, a couple months, maybe. Yeah. I haven't seen him in a while. He's great. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's amazing. Say hi to Lounge Cadet Jay Anderson. Nice to see you, sir. Nice to see you lounging. <laughs> when the days fade away into twilights, the moon is my light of love. In the night, I'm quite so romantic. Answer of love. Bring me consolation. You're my inspiration. This is my imagination. I'm on my hand. You in my arms. Nothing but love. In view. Then when you fall. Once and for all. See my dreams come true. <laughs> Moments to spare for someone you care for, one love affair for two. With time on my hands, you in my arms, love in my hands, all for you. You ever hear that one? I think it's Jimmy McHugh. Vincent Yeomans and Harold Adamson and Matt Gordon. Vincent Yeomans, he was a... It's a nice song. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not doing it right. Who is that chirpy lady who had time on my hand? I know. I'm trying to think of her name. She was fantastic. Just too marvelous, too marvelous for words, glorious, glamorous, that old standby amorous, all too wonderful, never find the words. Speed reading. <laughs> we updated it. If you're feeling fancy free, wander through the world with me. Chance to be will be 
Diana Woodruff's here from YYZ. Nice to see you, Diane. Where are you? Are you out on the town? Or, uh, where are you watching Lounge Academy from, Diana? I know you're in Toronto, but I mean, just home with the cat? We don't need no stinking books. I'm sentimental. So I walk in the rain. This is a good song. I've got some habits. Even Diana Woodruff can't explain. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Barbara Fisher. Lounge Academy. <laughs> you have to play in Barbara Fisher with that song. It's a lounge rule. Or else it's a felony. We're going to Barbara Fisher. We're going to do a Cy Coleman song. Toronto would be very nice. Nothing wrong with that. It's the best place. Especially with Lounge Academy going. Out of town dinner, I guess. You should have told them. You should have made them watch Lounge Academy. I'm sentimental. So I walk in the rain. I've got some habits. Even I could start for the corner, turn up in Spain. Why try to change me now? I'll sit in daydreams. I've got daydreams galore. Cigarette ashes. There they go on the floor. I'll go away weekends. Leave my keys in the door. Why try to change me now? Why can't I be more conventional? People stare. People talk, so I try. That's not for me, cause I can't see my kind of crazy world. Go passing me by, so let people wonder. Let them laugh, let them frown. You know I love you till the moon's upside down. Don't you remember I was always Jack's clown? 
Why try to change me? Why try to change me? Why try to change me? Now. Cy Coleman. Thank you. In the back of the room there. Do you have a lyricist on that? Carolyn Lee? Yeah. good for the there's one from Barbara Fisher as long as she's here we might as well finish playing her song for her it's impossible tell the sun to leave the sky it's just impossible It's impossible. Ask a baby not to cry. It's just impossible. Can I hold you closer to me and not feel you? I never think of you. Oh, how impossible. Can the ocean keep from rushing to the shore? It's just impossible. If I had you, could I ever ask for more? It's just impossible. And tomorrow, if you ask me for the world, somehow I get it. I would sell my very soul and not regret it. For to live without your God, it's just impossible, impossible. Yielding to 
a soft wind's day. To go away. Don't you misunderstand. Fisher's List. To celebrate this night, we found each other. Oh, let's get lost. Barbara 
Jennifer Fisher. Let's get Ross. And Lounge Academy. We're having a ball here at Lounge Academy. I can trust everybody. That's what these songs are for. Remember your mind and I've got a world that's fine. What's before me? Routines that bore me. Punch that clock at eight. But what a lucky guy I am. I've got a world that's great. Adam Bonds, Cape Canaveral, and false alarms. Half the universe is up in arms. So I flip a little too until I'm holding you. What's the hassle? Out by the castle, we can live like kings. If you remember your mind, then. I've got a world that, you've got a world that we, we've got a world that swings. I'd like to take you on a wild, wonderful adventure, fly like a kite from space, no strings. I don't want to lose that bell that rings, cause I've got a world that swings. I've got the world on a string. Sitting on a rainbow, hide the string around my finger. The string reminds me you're mine, and I've got a world that swings. Adam bombs, Cape Canaveral, and false alarms. Half the universe is up in arms. So I flip a little too until I'm holding you. What's the hassle? I'll buy the castle, we can live like kings. If you remember your mind, then I've got a world that you've got a world that we, we've got a world that swings, a world that swings, we've got a world that swings. The, the terrific buddy love from the Nutty Professor. <laughs> That's a good song from the Nutty Professor. Is that where that's from? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. I love it. The string reminds me of mine. I got the world the right now. I wonder. That's a good question. I, I have no idea. You said that earlier. Or you let me believe it. I don't know. He performed it in the Nutty Professor yeah. as his uh, alter ego, Buddy Love. Yeah. Yeah. Tremendous character. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Barbara. Yeah. Howard Kunz, it's great to have you here at the lounge. Some stuff we don't do all the time here. Here's a nice one we do all the time. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
What's it all about? Now feed. Is it just for the moment we wait? What's it all about? When you started out, Elfie, are we meant to take more than we give? Or are we meant to be kind? And Best I can say it. Healthy, then I guess it is wise to be cruel. And if life belongs only to the strong, healthy, will you end on an old golden rule? It's a beautiful song, and it's a. For two terrible. Hey, Paul Cambria, how are you, sir? Where are you out? You racing, or? It's usually someplace cool. Where are Where are you, Paul? Just because it's usually someplace amazing. Wait, why? Why would he be somewhere else? He happy, didn't he? Well, he he is with us. He is with us. It's going great, Paul. It's Mary's birthday we're celebrating. And it's Missy's birthday we're celebrating. So it's a big night. Yes, what's Steve's last name? I'm Graham Oroff. Graham? Like Graham Let it rain and thunder. Let a million ferns go under. I am not concerned with stocks and bonds that I've been burned with. I love you, and you love me, and that's how it will always be. And nothing else can really mean a thing. Love's the only thing that matters. Who cares if the sky cares to fall with the sea? Who cares?
Why should I care? Life is one more jubilee. So long as I care for you, then you care for me. Bouncy C inspired by Guy Boleri. That's the. Uh... That chorus line effect. Kathy, know that I know. Oh, I know. This yeah. is a nice so I don't know, but Rogers and Hart song. I don't think they realize what it's going to Yeah, I don't think Though I know so that we'd meet every night. And we couldn't have changed since the last time. Joy and delight. It's a new kind of love at first sight. Though it's you that I know all the time. You know this verse. All the meetings are marvelous pastime. Yeah, a little bit. You're increasingly sweet. So whenever we happen to meet, I love you. You love me. With the song in my heart. I didn't know that was the verse. Oh, I love this song. What a great song this is. I behold. Just a song at the start. But it soon is a hymn to your grace. When the music swells, I'm touching your hand. It tells me. Bob Davis is going to give a musical gift to Mary and Missy for their birthdays. And uh, how about it? Kind of putting him on the spot a little bit here, I know, but the Jews brothers are going to do some blues for you. I like that stuff too. Yeah. 
Richie, bring your F harp over. All right, come on over. We'll be waiting for you. That is good I bought that. All right. I love that. You look Howard, you should. Howard, you should come sing something. I'll accompany you. Put something and I'll accompany you. Oh, that's okay. So I can follow it and then do it in this key. Okay. Okay. play for it. You'll have to wait. You'll have to wait. Yeah, I was going to say, you'll have to wait. But no tie. No tie, bow tie. So what's what's in here with the. Uh, Big print for yeah. changes. That's a nice right? one. Let's do that That's one. That's a nice one. Which one? I'm easy. We do the first one. We do the first one? Okay. Let's yeah. do it. No, don't worry about it. Do you do the, uh, do you do the intro thing? Sure, we can do the intro. All right. Do you know it? I don't know it. Sure. Okay. I might look at you, it's like the first time. Each time you're near me, the thrill is new. You don't mind if I use your mic, do you, Nick? <laughs> there is nothing that I wouldn't do for the red you like the sight of you. Mr. Goldman. Just grows and grows. 
want to try. As long as you can me. You do another one, Howard. Okay, so this priest would have used his whiskey. I don't want to get. <laughs> I don't want to get touched. To, yeah, well, you don't want to get suddenly get to your highest range. Yet, so. yeah, maybe it'll help. <laughs> this is a tough one. This gonna be a tough one. Come on along and listen to the lullaby of Broadway. Yeah. I do it at the same time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's the 30s, and so we're on the chorus line. Come on along and listen to the by of Broadway.
or Mozart might be like, I was enjoying that. Yeah, I'm enjoying that. You wanted to do something in G? Sure. <laughs> that's, that's my favorite. Let's slow down. Let's we'll slow down. We'll 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 slow, slow G. Slow G. Uh, C.
Yeah. You know the other thing. Like that's one of the famous licks in it, but it's good. They play it in like 64th notes, you wouldn't recognize it. That's what it comes out to be. Classic Mozart. Yeah. That's chords. <laughs> you can play well, the Jews, the Jews brothers, brothers, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. It was great. It was great. I'm going to transpose that from America. They can't remember. Nice. Not nice. Really. Just hanging around people. I have a I have an autograph picture of Muddy Waters when he played at the Governor's Inn. Oh, great! Yeah. Cool. Nice. Um, the phone number now in Chicago. It wasn't answered anymore. Was <laughs> I talked to him. You did? Did you call him in Chicago? I'm cool. I'm to be a harmonica player, but he goes, I got Paul Asher. But still, you called him. That's yeah. funny. Yeah. Sellers have called from Buffalo and you gave me the harmonica player. Which that is so cool. What a great story they have when you're at the That's why I got the telephone number in the back of this picture. Oh, he gave sweet. it to me. Wow. And he played at the Bell Star that night. And I showed him the picture from that governor and he goes, Wow, look at that do I have. Because he had that on. Oh, yeah, that high hair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. while we were, uh, when you were coming up, more, the more I need you. Yeah. Thanks, Missy and Jack. Happy birthday, Missy. Thank you, Jack. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to see you. Thanks for sharing your birthday with us. The night is bitter. Stars have lost their glitter. The winds grow colder. Suddenly, and uh, all on a cotton, the I man played a god at the grave. He had the Oma Shaw service. Oh, yeah. He wrote a song for the whole of No more eager yeah. cards. you. 
is run off and undone you great beginning seen a final inning you know what happened it's all a crazy game
shadow of your smile when you are gone. I'll do that one for you. I'll do that one with you. We gotta slow down. We gotta slow down because think of those lyrics. Oh, about okay. a shadow, it's about something he's going to remember. And it's, it's very sad something. So we're gonna do it slow. Alright. We're gonna do it slow. Nice and slow. Then we're gonna do it easy.
Nice, Bob Davis. Good, Howard. Who does that one? That's classic. That's that song. I got it. <laughs> Who's that? That's <laughs> so mythic. Starts out one day we were walking along the beach and then and then he screwed up and then someday I'm gonna remember this day and it's just gonna be a shadow and an echo. Oh, it's, it's, it's horrible. Mythic. It's mythic. It's a mythic sign. It just doesn't always turn out right in these songs. Jim Weaver wishes you Mary a very happy birthday. Thank you. Last Sunday I rode my bike down to the marathon from the Irish. Thank you, Jim Weaver. Chicken chicken. You and me. You said it's like ten we cents. wanted it all. A dollar a mile or something? It's a penny a minute. We wanted it all. Passion without pain. Sunshine without rainy days. We wanted it always. You and me, we reached for the sky. The moment was high, never giving in, knowing we could win the prize. I should have seen it in your eyes. Bob Davis. Bob Davis. How about everybody home giving a big round of applause for Bob Davis? Richie. 
Richie Sellers. Together they're known as the Jews Brothers. Thank everybody at Buffalo for making this possible. It's time for the national anthem at the end of it, as we always do. Richie. Fast forward a little bit. We'll see y'all next week. <laughs> Thanks again, Barbara Fisher. Have a nice night. And uh, keep lounging, everybody. Thank you, Buffalo, for uh, being our new sponsor and helping to keep the lights on. We'll see you guys again. I'm going to send us off into the ether with this finger can not only create music, it has the power to destroy.